What's going on YouTube? <clears throat> Today I'll be uh, working on the headlights for my 2010 Toyota Camry. And I pull them off the car. <clears throat> what I'm currently doing is uh, I'm retrofitting the projectors out <clears throat> for uh, some by Xenon HID projectors. And um, the ones I am that I will be using are the Lexus RX350 projectors that I got from the retrofit source. <clears throat> and it's a pretty simple task. Um, you will need a little bit of a couple of tools. Uh, first of all, you have to remove the plastic lens. Uh, I use the heat gun. Some people stick the headlights in the oven, but I just, you know, heat up the around the edges and slowly start pouring apart. I started over here on this edge, and uh, then it, you know, I pull it off this way. There's a couple screws on the back holding it together, and the little tabs right here. I can't, I just heat them up and mold them, you know, they get soft, so I folded them up. There's a couple tabs around. And <clears throat> to swap the projector out, there's a, the minor trimming required. I have a Dremel that I use, it's right over here. And I bought, well, I don't have it on there, but I bought these, here we go. Reinforced cutoff wheels, they work really well. Uh, I'm working on a couple other retrofits, some for my old 91 F-150 that I had to, I mean, that, those are gonna be complete custom. I had to cut the lenses off and so I could make some clear lenses because there's no aftermarket for that. So anyways, to put this projector in here, it's, has four screws One on each corner uh, it's December Sixth, I believe, and it's pretty cold out here. I live in Texas, and we're not used to this. Um, I'm, I don't like it at all, but <clears throat> hopefully, I don't get sick. So, anyways, once you do that, this projector just comes right out. Um, I mean, I, I guess I'll put it up for sale, you know, on offer up or something. I don't need it anymore. But, so you have to do a little trial and error fitment on here. So as you can see, the holes don't line up. It, it's a little hard to see down here, but this solenoid for the high beam right here, you will have to cut out this area. Almost all the way to right around here. And I believe all the way to here. And you have to trim some off the bottom. Down here. So I, I went down about an eighth right here. And I'll start with about an eight, I believe that worked on, I already did the other headlight, but I believe that worked and I trimmed, let's see. I believe all of, all of that plastic has to come out and then this RX350 projector will slide right in and you will use the existing holes and bolt it right back up. And don't forget to, it comes with the, the harness for the, which I kind of forgot on the other one, but I was still able to access it through the back and get that plugged in for the high beams. 
so I mean I hope this helps you out it's pretty simple and the loud light output will be greatly increased I mean uh, by far you know so give it a like and subscribe peace